Johnny and Livy run up to Liliana's house the next morning. Let's hope this goes to plan. Uh, hi? Liliana, Livy and I need your help. With what? Wait, oh my gosh. What's wrong? Even she... Tell us what you know right now. What I know about that? Don't play dumb. You know about Ford. I do. Look, you'll help us or else we'll make sure you feel guilty. You don't need to threaten her. I can't tell you. But why not? When you're being blackmailed by Yvonne. Wait, what? She's blackmailing you? For <laughs> three years. I didn't know. You weren't to know. Even will kill me for telling you anything. Uh, figuratively, I hope. Not figuratively. Well, I don't know. I know where Ford is, mostly. Liliana, please, show us. We're begging you. Right, but I'm doing this for him and not you, Johnny. And especially not you, Libby. What? I know where she's coming from. Ford is so mad. Whatever. Come on, let's go. Liliana pauses. Liliana? Sorry, sorry, just thinking about everything? Fair enough. I think about everything a lot. Doesn't everyone? We should walk in silence. Just because you don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to her. Are you rude to everyone by any chance? Did you just call me rude? Livy, calm down. Our best friend is missing, Johnny, and you're telling me to calm down? Last I heard, I was his only friend. As well as Raylan, because he isn't very fond of you right now. What? So you're saying him being missing isn't going to freak me out? No, that's not what I meant. Then what exactly did you mean? Forget it. Johnny catches up with Liliana. How was your first morning here? Awful. And why was it awful? Because I wanted to be back in my own house with my friends and family. Is that too much to ask? Yes, it is. I don't understand what your problem is. You. You're my problem. Then why is that? Because you hurt my daughter, like I said. And any relative of Nate is an enemy to me. I guess that's me, and Amber, and Mom. Yes, exactly. You're all my enemies. Then what is Raylan? A girl who needs to learn where her priorities lie. You lost custody of your own daughter, and she's living with us now. Her priorities aren't what you think they are. I'll make sure she understands once I have her back. You won't ever have her back. Then I'll have to take action. How many more people are you going to kidnap? A few. And what is the point of keeping a lot of kids in your large basement? You'll soon see. You even said that anyone in your building never makes it out alive. That's the thing. They don't. I'm just curious as to what exactly you're going to do to me. That's for me to know, Ford. You should tell me, too. Even you know that that will never happen. You've lost everything, Ivan. Why would you throw all that away to hurt me? I had nothing to lose. So you don't care about your daughters? Raylan was never loyal. And Eliana knows where her loyalties lie and how to handle herself. You've changed your tune. I change my mind all the time, Ford. I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. It's whatever you make it out to be. Then I'd assume it to be bad. Then feel free to think that. Though I do think you should leave this room. Why is that? So I can, uh, be alone? And why would you want to be alone? Alone time is very important to me, Yvonne. Why would anyone want to be alone? I thought you were alone. Not entirely. I don't see anyone else around. It's none of your business. So you drag me to your mansion and then won't even tell me what is going on? How's that even fair? Life isn't fair, Ford. Whatever. So long. Yvonne exits, locking the door behind her. Ford stares after her. I just want to be at home. I miss Johnny. Raylan wants to meet up. Then you should. You haven't had a friend since Chloe's death. Don't lose your only chance. Alright, fine. Enjoy yourself. I'll try. Kuna? Yes? Can I say something important? Of course. I want to ask Johnny out, and soon. Then you should go for it. I'm nervous. Come on! Let's go to his house and see if he's in. Why wouldn't he be in? I've heard people talking about how Ford might have been abducted by Yvonne last night. Surprisingly, I haven't heard that yet. And if he's not him, I understand. 
I wouldn't expect him to not help Ford. Let's see anyway. I'm going to inform the police. It's the best thing we can do. Wait, no, don't do that. Yvonne could hurt him. She's probably already done that. And the police can protect Ford. We still shouldn't call them. What's wrong with you, Mum? This is Ford we're talking about. He's probably alone and scared out of his mind right now. Rose, it's for the best. No, it's not. I'm going to call them now. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Rose storms up the stairs. What on earth? Don't worry about her. She'll cool off soon. Hey, Lila. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Sabrina. A bit rough, I guess. Kuna told me she'd heard about last night. Everyone has. Nothing stays a secret where Ford's involved. I'm sure Ford just wants privacy. Yeah. I'm gonna head home now. Sabrina, let me know if anything happens. Of course. Kuna starts walking home. You can come in, Sabrina. Sabrina and Lila enter the living room, where Kara and Autumn were playing a heated game of Monopoly. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. I feel bad for Ford. You feel bad? It's a pity you didn't feel bad when you were on that staircase. Sabrina, sorry, I didn't- So, do you know anything about the situation with Ford, Sabrina? Kuna said that Ford was abducted by Yvonne, and Johnny has most likely gone to find him. He has, with Livy and Liliana, who apparently know Ford's exact location. Who even is Liliana? A new girl at school. Seems to be attached to Ford. Ford didn't want to know her. He doesn't trust anyone except for Johnny, that's for sure. It'll probably stay that way. Makes sense when you just had your trust broken by a family member. Ford and Johnny care about each other so much. They've been through a lot. Part of that is because of you. Johnny still blames the stair incident on himself. Why is that? Because he knows he should have attacked you then, rather than waiting a week or two. He keeps saying he's a coward. To me, he doesn't seem like one. Not saying he is, but how would you know? First of all, he went to find Ford. What's so special about that? It was brave. He knows Yvonne could target him if she finds out. She's dangerous. True. And before his accident, as you especially know, he was trying to help Ford and ended up paying for it. That is also true. I just wish I could have helped. You did everything you could. Don't worry. And I'm sure Johnny will be fine. I hope so. Hey! Good morning. I'm glad you came. How does living with Ford feel like? Good, but also about that. What's wrong? Something's happened to Ford. I've heard some rumors, but what exactly happened? I think it was Yvonne. I don't even know what happened to him. I'm sorry, I can't be of much help. I thought you hated Ford. Yes, but I don't hate you, and you seem really stressed out. Fair enough, I guess. Where are we? This is Yvonne's very big mansion. It certainly looks big, and you seem to know what you're doing. I should hope you trust me, because if you don't, then you have no hope of finding Ford. Who would trust you? Not this again. Come on, we're going inside then? Yes, but stay quiet and stay low. If Yvonne sees us, we've had it. The three of them tiptoed into the building. What is this place? Yvonne seems rich. She is, but it's legal money. To be expected, Yvonne definitely doesn't have a job. She's never had a job. Except working with her dad before he died. How boring. Livy, you're quiet. Are you okay? Please don't talk to me. Just me or everyone. Just you. We didn't come here to argue. We all came here for one goal, and that was to find Ford. Don't turn this into a fight. Yes, we need to focus on Ford. At least someone agrees. Why wouldn't I? Well, you don't even know Ford that well. Liliana opens a rusty metal door which leads down to a large basement with many adjoining corridors. How would we find our way around here? This way. She takes the fifth tunnel, with Johnny and Livy trailing behind. Both of them know if they lose Liliana, they'd never be able to find their way back. She seemed to know everything. What's your family like, Liliana? Mommy's lovely, Freddy's a jerk, and Dad died when I was five. Yeah, I saw you arguing with Freddy. That's a regular occurrence. Tell us more about your dad. Well, he knew someone named Nate. Nate? 
I've heard that name before, I believe. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of Nates in the world. I'm not. And where the heck did you hear the name Nate before? I, uh, um, can't remember. Don't worry about it then. It doesn't really matter anyways. Nate and my dad are dead, so... Wait, wait! I um, shouldn't have um, said that. What on earth are you hiding from us? N nothing. What do you mean? Nate was Ford's dad, and you know that. He didn't mean... Stop trying to act like some innocent angel and stop thinking you'll ever get your hands on Ford. That's the only reason you came, right? You want to steal Ford away from us. No, of course not, and you invited me. I don't believe you. Ford doesn't like you, Liliana. Now I'm being bullied again, just like before. What do you mean, before? Don't pretend you care. Well, Ford probably won't. You don't know that. You can't see what Ford is thinking. No, but I do know Ford, Liliana. He cares about everyone, though. I wish we hadn't invited you. If I went here, find it would be an impossibility. You're probably leading us on a wild goose chase. We'll go off on our own, thanks. I'll find Ford on my own then. You have no idea where he is. You probably don't know either. Whatever. Liliana was left alone in the corridor. She watches Johnny and Livy disappear from sight in the opposite direction as to where she knows Ford is. Suit yourself, but you won't find him.